everyone, this is Joey from Bertoni Motors and behind me is a 2019 BMW M5 competition. And I know the question you're already asking yourself is like, Joey, why is that not a BMW motorcycle? Well, let me tell you, BMW has not made a good looking motorcycle in a few years. Quote me on that. So, one of my friends he threw me the keys to this M5 competition He said, go for it. So in today's video, we are going to do a first drive, not a first ride, a first drive with this beautiful Bavarian Autobahn Crusher. So let's go. While the 2019 BMW M5 is a hell of a car, BMW has put the car through its paces before it slapped the competition badge on it. BMW gave the M5 competition 25 horsepower more than the standard M5 and allowed the 553 pound feet of torque to rev at a wider range. This enables it to launch to 60 miles per hour in just 3.3 seconds. That's 0.3 seconds quicker than the regular M5. In addition to more power and a louder exhaust, BMW tweaked the suspension by adding toe link and ball joints instead of rubber mounts and added a 10% firmer spring rate on the front and rear anti-roll bar. Overall, there's a bunch of little changes like that special frozen dark silver metallic paint, high gloss kidney grill, mirror caps, side grills, and exclusive 20 inch forged wheels. The interior has BMW M branded seat belts, full leather merino argon upholstery, and aluminum carbon and dark chrome trim throughout. We're going to touch on the specs a little more when we start driving, but let's get the car started. Now that that's over, let's get driving. All right, let's go. So, as you guys know, we just went through all the fun specs. <laughs> and we just hit 80 real quick. I mean, not actually 80, but so we'll cover that up. Um, this is the Audubon Blaster. You guys absolutely know what this engine, what it's totally capable of doing. We are in rural Michigan, about an hour or so north of Detroit, in a car that doesn't seem very likely to be around here. When we look around, there's a lot of Chevys, two Chevys, Chrysler, what are you? A Buick, and we're basically the only BMW on this road, and likely to be the only BMW on this road. Um, this car is nothing short of absolutely fabulous. So far, I've driven it probably 20 or 30 miles today and switching between comfort mode, which this car excels in so many different places, but one of them is just being extremely comfortable. There are, okay, the massaging, so I'm getting a massage right now. I don't know if you guys knew that. Yeah, my back and my lower legs, buttocks area are being massaged as I'm just like cruising down this country road at 70 miles an hour and it is spectacular. Uh, heated and cooled seats, the leather around the steering wheel is so plush, there's a little bit of extra cushion there. Wherever you touch, there's leather, there's Alcantara. Um, we're driving the M5 Competition right now, and one of the cool things about the M5 Competition is you get a bunch of more horsepower. I think the torque stays exactly the same, but you lose the sunroof um, because it's actually, it weighs so much less. Um, this car is really focused on you know the performance of it and when you think about such a large heavy sedan you don't really think about performance but <sighs> there's no one behind me so we're gonna slow down a bit and we're gonna throw it into boom in dynamic mode listen to it listen and that was a hundred just like that this is a heavy girl like, she ain't light. When you look at like the original M5 to what it is now, we're like 2,000 plus pounds different. This is a big car, and this Hot V, which, God, I love the name of the Hot V. If you guys know what that Hot V is, it's not, you're someone's sister. What it is, 
is there's a V8 in the front. Boom. Uh, V8, blah, blah, blah. and the turbos are actually mounted on the inside of the, yeah, I'm, I'm steering with my knee right now. The turbos are, set, are mounted on the inside of the, not the cylinders, what are the, whatever they're called, um, allowing for uh, a shorter distance between where the turbos are spooling up and the amount and the air getting into the cylinder heads. Um, it's something that I saw with Mercedes with the AMG GT five or six years ago, and I didn't know any other brands were doing that. Um, but I was actually watching some, uh, I was researching other M5 competition videos this morning and they all said the Hot V. So of course I had to bring up the Hot V because who doesn't like talking about some Hot V? We need to find more open roads so I can do the launch control action and get that sound. It is just hypnotizing, it truly is. Um, we've been trying to find some corners for a while and crazy enough, not a lot of corners in middle America. We're gonna turn left randomly on North Avenue and see what we can find. I mean, it feels very comfortable. There is nothing in my mind that makes me doubt that this is the ultimate touring kind of vehicle, right? You can jump on the Autobahn and you just fucking cruise, you know, six, seven, eight hundred miles in a day whatever and like when I watch youtubers from England when they you know all those cool people like Shmi and they would just go from where they are in London and they go down to Germany in a day this is the car that makes the most sense for that I would love to just you know get on the Autobahn cruise at 140 150 miles an hour and not feel it we were you know driving uh, out into the boonies where we are now or on the highway and you just you look down and you're like oh wow we're going not 60 miles an hour and it just feels so planted so comfortable no matter what speed you're going and you're just passing people and you're like wow everyone's going so slow today and then you're like oh no 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 i'm just driving really quickly um the level of just confidence that this vehicle inspires is just crazy it's truly just crazy I don't want to, we're in like a really quaint little village and there's like old people walking around. I don't want to be like Dick who slams his foot down into the floorboard, but I kind of do. <laughs> so with this car, all the, when you think like technology, all that, like my phone is just sitting in the center console right now and it has the, not the Bluetooth, it has Bluetooth obviously, but it has the wireless charging pad just already built into the vehicle. One of the coolest things about this is when you have music playing, I can't have music playing right now because of copyright strikes, but it's all hand gesture. So clockwise or counterclockwise turns volume up, down, counterclockwise, or cal yeah, yeah, yeah. let's try that again. Counterclockwise turns the volume down, clockwise with your fingers turns the volume up. Um, obviously Siri is built in because my my iPhone's connected. All of your apps like right now, uh, Apple Music, Spotify, um, audiobooks, podcasts, all of that's on here. Waze is really nice with this touch screen up here. And also one thing that I really like on this BMW that I haven't seen on other newer vehicles that have LCD back panels is that this has metal trim around the LED panel, which gives it a little more depth. It feels like it is, it feels like it's old school versus the Mercedes where it's just like two giant screens. It doesn't feel as futuristic. And honestly, I don't want it to feel like that. This isn't an electric vehicle, right? This is a thirsty 600 and what, 15, 617 horsepower Hot V. You thought I'd not say Hot V one more time, but there I am. Engine. And I like how BMW has, you know, obviously gone so far into the future with this vehicle, but at the same time, kept it to what it is, right? It is a quick, very, very quick family sedan. And they have nailed it with this vehicle, right? When you look at this versus the E63, it'd be really hard for me not to choose this vehicle. Kind of like what I'm feeling right now in this cockpit. So first off, there are these two M paddles, um, these little red dial or not dials, but like little flap flaps, flaps. For a straightaway. <laughs> kind of hit the 
hit that center section, boom. Um, so these little M flappy panels, they're completely programmable to like, um, what are they? I'm trying to think. Um, uh, firmness of suspension, how hard it accelerates, all of that. Oh, that's something that I wanted to talk about is the torque on this car. There is so much bloody torque that it's crazy. So first gear, it just pulls. But then you get to second and third gear and it pulls harder. And you like, you look down, you're like, how is this possible? How am I accelerating from like 30 to 70 quicker than I got from one, for, um, from zero to 30? And the torque curve on this engine is the way that it just wants to launch you, right? It is kind of like a locomotive. Like once it gets up to speed, it doesn't stop. It just keeps pulling until you know you look down and they are at 100. One of the one of the more f fun things about this vehicle is just the torque. You know, like horsepower is always so much fun, but like once you get to a certain point, you can only go so fast. That torque is what gives you that fun, feel, like that. What is it? The, the grasping of the stomach. Like you lose the air because the g-force is just so much. That's the feeling that I want. That's the feeling that I I love on my Ducati. I guess I can just do that in a split second. But back to these M paddles. They're super easy to program. Everything's customizable. You hit it, boom, confirm, boom. Dynamic stability control is now active. You hit it again, boom. Now it's gone, all of that. So when I was just talking about torque, I kind of wanted to add something a little more to that, right? So how the engine maps the torque in the gears, right? It could only do so much torque in first gear. So it actually gives you more torque in second and third gear. So that, that feeling of pulling it pull you down the road is legitimate. BMW recognizes that it wanted to give you more torque and it successfully gives you that. So complete stay and still. We're not gonna do an actual launch, but we are going to do, where are we gonna do launch? Three, two, oh, I'm just kidding, I put my right off the freak. <laughs> So that was quick. Um, for such a big car, we can get the zero to 60 in 3.1 seconds, which is up there with, what, what else is that up there? Lamborghini Huracans, um, Ferrari 488s, um, almost up there with the Ducati Panigale. So it's amazing what this hot V, see I said it again. That's right, I looked in the camera too when I said it. You're welcome, you're welcome. So driving through this cute little city, I just wanted to give a nice little wrap up um, to the video. Thank you guys for watching. This is a stunning house. This was obviously not something that you guys have ever seen before and it's not anything that I've done before. So if I stumbled on my words, if I stumbled on my thoughts, if I didn't make any sense whatsoever, hopefully it was entertaining. And if you've got to this far, I'd really appreciate it. If you like this video, subscribe, share it with your friends. Even if you want to share it with your friends and just be like, wow, this Joey guy sucks. That's totally fine with me. Share it. Have all your friends do negative comments on my videos because that's not, YouTube doesn't care about it anyway. Comment's a comment. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for giving me your attention and thank you to my friend and his father for allowing me to drive this M5 competition. One of, one of the better things that I've got to drive in my lifetime I can confidently say that one of the more fun things one of the most Bavarian things I've got to drive in my lifetime so that's it for right now guys thank you so much for watching that's it hot V <laughs>